That's right. You can see they already have up the no parking signs in effect from 4 a.m. tomorrow through tomorrow night. The city, the Southside Chamber of Commerce, different businesses, they're all encouraging people consider a ride sharing service or designated driver or public transportation. They're all trying to manage the popularity and success of the Southside on a St. Patrick's Day Saturday night. Southside businesses and the city are preparing for a busy day and night here Saturday in the wake of the St. Patrick's Day Parade downtown. Oh, it's going to be fantastic for us. It's a real bounce back for all small business. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm actually feeling very positive about where things are going. We spoke with people working at the Vault Tap Room here. I feel like it'll be a good turnout. It'll be exciting to see everybody enjoying themselves once again. And Pittsburgh and St. Patrick's Day is always a good time. As the green beer starts to flow, Pittsburgh's nighttime economy manager suggests you consider a safe way to get here and get home. This is not a day to bring your car. If you're drinking, you should not be bringing your car. So I think you know, we really want people to either have a friend who is a designated driver, take a shared ride, use public transportation. The city and the Southside Chamber of Commerce are spreading advice for servers. Just be safe, be smart. If you notice that somebody maybe shouldn't be coming in, just talk to them. Don't necessarily like kick them to the curb, but just talk to them and be like, hey, come in, get some food, and then we'll talk. Some other safety advice the city is spreading, as is the Southside Chamber of Commerce, with people line up outside of bars and restaurants. They're asking people to, as they put it, hug the wall. In other words, leave room for pedestrians to pass and certainly to make sure that uh, overcrowded streets don't force anyone into traffic here on Carson. Reporting live on the Southside, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.